You want to lose body fat. You want to get shredded abs. And I did it here. I'm going to show you my results. Um, but I thought I'd chat while I'm on the treadmill. Let's go through a daily routine of what you can incorporate in your day in order to lose body fat. Because consistency is key. It's not doing something on one day. It's doing something little every single day. So the first thing I was doing is following the 30-30-30 rule. So it means that 30 minutes into waking, you're having 30 grams of protein and doing 30, a 30 minute walk. So walking is amazing. Hence why I'm on the treadmill walking. Um, for burning body fat because it doesn't eat into any of the muscle. Um, running burns carbs, so it's steady state cardio is essential, especially if you're doing it on an empty stomach. And then having 30 grams of protein for breakfast was a game changer for me because I felt like I wasn't snacking throughout the day and I felt like I was actually satisfied and satiated. It will boost your metabolism, like doing all this stuff is going to speed up your metabolism. So you find you're gonna get hungry every three hours, but know that that's normal and you can eat every three hours. I was just making sure what I was eating was high in protein, balanced, um, balanced with carbs and fats. I did find if you were like waiting till like 2 p.m. or later to eat, you were so hungry by that point that you ended up just grabbing anything that you could um, and eating foods that you don't necessarily need. And you need to start seeing food as fuel. I just found like I was not craving these random things throughout the day when my breakfast was solid. So 30 grams of protein for breakfast, lots of walking, 10,000 steps. I would do personally 30 minutes in the morning, 30 minutes in the afternoon, just because having like an hour and a half to do or an hour to do a walk is like a long time um, so if you break it up it's really good and it can also help re-energize you throughout the day because naturally if you're on a fat loss journey if you're working out and you're eating cleaner your body's not used to not having that much sugar not that much food so you're going to get tired so things you can do as well um, to speed up your recovery have energy is like have green tea supplements I have these like um, soda replacements that are also energy replacements and they're green tea which means that um, green tea is like a slower releasing caffeine so it will last over five hours where coffee's only going to last you two so you're going to end up having like so many throughout the day so I started having those supplements magnesium for my recovery I found that magnesium at night was super helpful as well as those supplements and any supplementation like protein powders I was incorporating that in my day um, I personally like to work out in the afternoon just because I find my cortisol is very sensitive if I work out in an empty stomach I found that if my cortisol was high it was harder for my body to lose body fat so always went in the afternoon um, even did my 30 minutes on the treadmill like I'm doing now um, and did that in the afternoon so make sure you do that morning routine go to work do whatever you have to do in the day and then in the afternoon smash out the the rest of your 30 minutes of your walking smash out your workout you can even end with sprints sprints was a really good one for me personally I loved doing those for my fat loss journey um, just that interval you only need 10 minutes nothing crazy um, and that also can just work I found like it actually worked a lot of my abs and my core and my muscles just getting them working and then I would come home have or I loved having steak for dinner it's so good super high in protein with just some like green veggies because you don't really need carbs when you're going to bed because think of carbs as energy um, so I was more focusing on carbs in my breakfast in my mid-morning snack and in my lunch and even before I work out really important so making sure you're balancing that complex carbs like rice potatoes bread really good it's actually going to give you so much energy over having high sugars also super high volume when you have a sweet treat have fruit like and have cut up fruit and literally put it in the fridge or have it with you all the time and it means that when you're getting snacky you can literally just pull to it and it's like convenient and easy because I find that's what's the hardest bit for people is they want that convenience so have like pre-made snacks, best thing ever. So that's how, it's my little daily routine and my tips 